Today we're out in the Swan Range, and right now in the Swan, we're looking at a pretty good snowpack structure. If you've been paying attention to the forecast or seen the forecast, you'll notice that we've removed the persistent slab problem from the Swan Range only. And this problem here was uh, the reason for it was a layer of surface hoar. And that surface hoar, it's still there, but it's about a meter below the surface. And we haven't had a report of a triggered avalanche on that layer in about three weeks now. Um, and all of our snowpack tests are pointing that it's trending unstable or really not getting any results in snowpack tests. So looking ahead into this upcoming weekend, we have another storm. We're looking at inch and a half to two inches of water. So that may be one to two plus feet of snow. And at our surface right now, we have really, we're on a north facing slope at upper elevation. We have a really faceted upper snowpack or surface. So this is a poor surface for this new snow to land on. So if you're out recreating this weekend, these steep north and east facing slopes where these facets or surface hoar that we saw further down are gonna be prime slopes for to, to avalanche if this storm does evolve. Um, right now we're seeing pretty stable conditions. We feel pretty comfortable um, if we wanna step out in a steeper train, but coming this weekend, it will be a time to reel it back if this storm does produce.